I believe that Jasmine has shocking potential. As a matter of fact, I think that Jasmine's potential is so shocking that it could very well scare away a Jasmine hater's girlfriend's boyfriend. And yeah, you heard that, right? It's so shocking that it could very well scare away the boyfriend of a Jasmine hater's girlfriend. And now, of course, that's neither dating nor financial advice. But in today's video, I want to explain several reasons why I believe Jasmine during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of a dollar. You know, first of all, I think that Jasmine has fantastic A plus fundamentals. Jasmine is focused on data democracy. And what that basically means right there is that Jasmine is focused on decentralizing data storage. And I think this right here is absolutely spectacular because I think that there is a lot of benefits through the decentralization of data storage. And let me show you what I'm talking about. You know, currently, a lot of data storage nowadays is happening in a centralized way. And I think that with this, there is a lot of drawbacks because with centralized data storage, there is typically a single point of failure and also it's typically controlled by a single entity. However, through decentralization, all of these drawbacks right here are pretty much gone. I believe that decentralization is the way to go moving forward. And I think that Jasmine is revolutionizing the data storage industry in such a fantastic way. And personally, I believe that Jasmine is focused on the right industry. Because if we take a look at this, according to Fortune Business Insights, they predict that by 2030, the global data storage market size could be worth nearly $800 billion. I mean, that's insane right there. That's a very crazy figure. That's almost as many people as Kim Kardashian has dated. I'm assuming, you know, I'm just joking, but that's probably the case, right? Who knows? However, besides that point, I think that moving forward as the data storage industry continues to grow, I think so will spectacular projects, much like Jasmine, that are focused on data storage. And let's not forget, right? Jasmine is the first ever legally compliant cryptocurrency in the country of Japan. And that right there is not easy to get. You know, for a cryptocurrency to even become legally compliant in Japan, it has to go through extremely stringent regulations. It's a very difficult process. So the fact that Jasmine was even able to achieve this milestone in the first place, I think is a true testament to ask to just how special they are. I think that if they had bad fundamentals, you know, if the crypto project was a complete clown show, this wouldn't have been a possibility. But in reality, it is a possibility. And I think that Jasmine is absolutely spectacular. And let's not forget, Jasmine has fantastic leadership. And now when I say this, some people sometimes like to comment and say, oh, who cares about leadership? But in reality, leadership is extremely important in my opinion. You know, as the old saying goes, the fish rots from the head down. Everything starts from the leader. And Jasmine has very fantastic leadership. You know, for example, if we take a look at this, Kuni Take Ando, the representative director of Jasmine, he was a former president and COO of Sony Corporation. And also, we take a look at another member of the Jasmine team, Kazumasa Sato. You know, he was the former CEO of Sony Style Japan. And also, we take a look at Hiroshi Harada, who is the current CFO. You know, he was a former employee at KPMG, which, by the way, is one of the big four accounting firms. So he clearly has an amazing resume. You know, anyway, I take a look at it. Jasmine, from top to bottom, has fantastic a plus leadership a lot of people like to say oh leadership doesn't really matter if it doesn't really matter take a look at what happened with ftx sam bankman freed you know caroline ellison that complete clown show oh my goodness clearly leadership matters a lot in my opinion you know when i see a crypto project this fundamentally fantastic you know with the use case that it has with the industry that is focused on and with this incredible leadership you know when i see a crypto project with all of these perks right here i truly do believe that that is a recipe for success. And I don't see why Jasmine during the next bull run won't go to the price of at least a dollar. I really don't see why it won't do that. I think Jasmine is too fantastic to not go to the price of a dollar. At least that's the way I view it. And of course, that's not a guarantee. But I am extremely bullish on Jasmine. And don't get it twisted. The way I view it is that Jasmine is going to make a lot of people cry during the next bull run. It's either going to be tears of joy, you know, for a Jasmine believer that's DCing into Jasmine, much like myself, you know, tears of joy seeing Jasmine potentially go to the price of a dollar. Or on the other hand, it's going to be a Jasmine hater who's going to be crying over to their girlfriend's boyfriend because they missed out on the Jasmine bull run. You know, again, right? One's tears of joy. The other one is tears of pain. And my buying strategy for Jasmine is dollar cost averaging. You know, a lot of people out there, they make videos, they pull out some random chart they draw, 
some random triangle and they say, oh, wow, oh, buy here, oh, sell here, oh, this is time to cash out. You know, some people, they spew this type of nonsense. But personally for me, I don't do any of that type of craziness because in my opinion, there is no need to overcomplicate things through leverage, day trading, swing trading. I think there's no need for that. All I'm focused on is just slowly but surely accumulating Jasmine on a consistent basis. And by doing so, I believe that I am preparing myself for the next bull run. I could care less about the short to medium term price movements. I'm just focused on accumulation. I'm focused on the next bull run. And of course, people are free to do whatever they want. But personally, I am staying away from that pulling out the chart, drawing a random triangle, buying, selling. You know, I'm staying away from all of that complete nonsense. I'm just focused on dollar cost averaging. And I believe that Jasmine during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of a dollar and surprise a lot of people. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video and I think you all would really love it.